five print on demand niche research ideas number eight all right so with the beer niche how can you design for this niche it's a very very simple okay simple simple like funny saying sell in this niche uh motivational quotes kind of motivational quotes for like your beard and stuff like that will do really well so what's going on in this niche this niche is an evergreen niche okay as far as like growing your beard out and stuff like that this has became like a little bit of a staple for men that grow their own beard they make a statement okay that's their goal to make a statement look at my beard check out my beard stuff like that okay now this is a a trend and it's a fashion type of thing so it's not going anywhere it's going to stay around for many many years so think about you know how you can create a consistent seller and it will make sales every single week or every single day if it's done correctly now with competition there is a fair amount of competition here so you have to do some research and you have to think about what you can do to dive into this niche and be different from everyone else okay think of different sub niches that you can maybe there's something that you do like a cross niche with and um, maybe beard and soccer or something like that right so you have to think about okay what can you do in here okay a beard and beer right beard and beer okay maybe these guys that have beers are they, they like to drink beer okay uh, think about it that way okay so this is there's there's several different ways that you can approach this but you got to be a little bit different from your competition and, and research it a little bit more all right now here's three designs in the beard niche um, bearded bearded fun Funkle, right? Funkle, Funkle. That was at one point. It was uh, Funkle. This, this, this word right here was a, a trademark, so you couldn't do it. But right now, it's not live no more. It's no longer there. Um, there's one in the process, but I don't know if it's gonna get live or not, become live or not. So you want to be careful, okay? Um, there's one. It's one of the. It's they're they're trademarking that that word again. So you want to be careful when it comes to that. Um, other than that, in this niche, okay, you can see what they did here. Um, was just basically, you know, just give a description on a shirt, right, and how to pronounce it and stuff like that. Um, it's it's a it's a funny quote on a shirt. So funny quotes and mixing the you know the, then the beer niche seems to be doing really well. So think of that. What you can do in this niche, come up with your own unique idea and create a shirt design. And this is an evergreen niche, so it's going to be selling all year round especially during holidays and stuff like that it will make sales and be a consistent consistent seller for this niche the beard the beard behind the bump okay so now mixing you know anything with, if you can mix anything with the pregnancy niche okay and your niche uh, so you know the beard niche and then the pregnant niche like cross niche in them mixing the two niches together it's powerful because it'll make sales you can see this is a consistent seller which is really awesome um this is simple okay simple design all black design so also keep in mind too if it looks good if you can make it look good on a black shirt and if you can change the color and make it good, look good on like a white shirt right so changing let's say if it's all white design if you can switch it to black and you make it look good on a white shirt do that do so it's a very simple switch so make sure that you're doing that with your designs um beard facts okay this is really interesting you're seeing a lot of this stuff going on in niches where they're just basically you know breaking down you know the point of a beard or breaking down uh the facts of let's say like a corgi or english bulldog anything like that in those type of niches but they're doing it with the you know uh the beard niche so think of ways that you can uh you know say put funny sayings these are all funny sayings on a niche that can be done but this is a really cool design it's 23.99 right that's interesting 83 um, ratings um, stuff like this if you can be the first in the niche they can make sales and crush for you now target audience obviously it's gonna be men so like think about someone you know with that has that's gonna grow a beard in the future or they're growing their beard right now right um, if, uh, beard coming soon future beard coming soon or something like that right so there are people that obviously like they see people's beards and how they're growing and and how you know how much how, how much they have grown and they're like dude I want a beard like that that'd be really cool so think about it that way okay there's people that are you know they, they want to grow their beard like that person okay so also you're just targeting men that have a beard okay so think about it that way goodbye 2021 hello 222 
now how to design for this niche okay now think of this niche as uh you know you can obviously chase the trend for the new year um it might be a little bit too late for that um but thinking thinking of more evergreen i'm thinking year tw or year 22 too okay the graduation niche is a very big niche for this okay that's what i'm thinking about when i see stuff like this i see the trends but then i'm trying to think about okay evergreen okay what can i do for as far as evergreen as i'm seeing people approach the new year and trying to attack the new year right but i'm thinking okay but what can i do to create more sales throughout the year there's graduation there's different things going on in the year 22 2 right um, which would lead into our next niche, right? right? It's very, very popular, okay? So think about anything text-based with 22.2, right? And you can share, you see the examples that I shared with you right here? They're good, but like, what else can you do? What can you do to take it to that next level, okay? Even if you wanna take it to the next, next level, you can think of 22.3 already, right? So, but simple does sell in this niche, which is very, very powerful, so don't overthink it. All right, so there's two designs that I wanna show you here, okay? Um, so 2021 and then 222 okay um you see how they have the you know the off and they have the 222 on okay there's something like something like this for you know starting the new year this would be an awesome design um and and some of you may like thinking like okay this may be too late like it's too late to actually you know design for this niche i want to say yes and no because you can design for it next year too as well this design will apply for 20 two three right um and then also there's designs that in 22 two that can be evergreen niches that will make sales all year round if you just you just have to think about it right but obviously it's only going to be good for that year though so i'm not a big fan of you know like like certain years of designs like so 22 2 22 1 22 22 3 i'm not a big fan of doing those type of designs but you can definitely make some money in these niches by you know finding a trending design and it'll make sales all year round right um so think about certain designs that just relate to the year 22 2 okay and then if you can get ahead so like graduation for example that would be a really awesome design um that you can you know leverage the 22 2 you know just think about that right there okay going into the new year and what you can do uh, and funny sayings talking about the new year okay we'll do good pretty much all year round now goodbye hello you know goodbye 20 you know 21 hello 22 2 okay you see what they did they kind of took it to that next level for design and which is really cool because this is what you want to do in order for you to create less competition for yourself you want to be unique and different from everyone else and this is what if you hear someone say, oh yeah, uh, all you do is you know make videos and say, just be unique and different. This is what, what it means, right? Think about the actual design. Think about what you can do for this niche and stand out from everyone else. It takes work, okay? It's not just like, oh yeah, be unique and different, but you, you have to be unique and different, okay? It takes work to do that. And that's why a lot of people don't like to do that. And that's how you create less competition for yourself if you do it correctly, right? So think about it, what you can do in this niche using just the 22.2 and figure out other ways to design for that whole year. You can, by you doing that, and that's what I want you to think about, like an evergreen, not just design for the new year, right? You can use the 22.2, you know, year and design for that whole niche by using different, you know, like graduation 22.2, right? You can jump into that niche and do something different. So if you see something in front of you, what can you do think about what you can do and you know design for something else by using you know 22 2. now the competition is low in certain sub niches with this okay so think about you're going to see the competition and and you know you're going to see a lot of people designing for this type of niche but like depending on the sub niche and you know you probably know yourself okay you can probably think of an idea and what you can apply this to and you can have very low competition okay because it's going to be making sales throughout the whole year of 22 too but what can you apply to yourself or maybe you know something that no one else knows okay and you can make sales from this now you're targeting pretty much all age group all age groups right which is really really amazing with this because you're creating a lot more opportunity for yourself to make sales so Think about it that way. Who are you targeting? Okay, you can either, you know, okay, this will be a really awesome kids design that I can create, right? Think about it that way. 
All right, the next niche is going to be promoted to mommy, daddy, grandma, great grandma, right? There's so many different uh, ways that you can do this right here. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's like a, almost like a scaled out niche, but think about, you know, when it comes to this, this is like, there's, it's very, very powerful because you're going to see if you start making sales in this niche, like what other type of designs you can create. There's your creativity is going to come to life right here, right? Now, how to design for this niche, simple text based designs make sales in this niche. Okay. Depending on who you're targeting, right? Um, and the age group, right? If you're targeting grandpa. Um, you know, you're thinking anywhere between, I want to say 40 to, you know, 70, 60 around there, probably even more depending, you know, how your family is. Um, so you, or how that person's family is. So you want to think about that right there. Okay. Cause most of the time, if you're buying something for, for example, like a simple, simple design, simple text-based design works perfectly for that person. Right. And they don't mind. So it's. It's a, it's a mixture of both. You can do a mixture of text and graphic, right? Or you can just do a, just a graphic. It, it, it all depends like how you're, the way you want to go about this. All right. So the niche that we're going to be talking about is promoted to, all right. Uh, promoted to grandma. Okay. Um, look at this design right here and you can see their keywords promoted to grandma 22 to two. Um, and then they put shirt in here. Okay. At the end right here. And then they try to get another keyword in there. Um, long tail keyword right here too as well. So they kind of use it promoted to grandma and they put it in there two times. I think once is just good enough, but Hey, if it's selling, you know, it's selling and they got it went ahead with the bullet points too as well. Think about, and this is a simple text-based design, right? Think about who you're targeting with this. Okay. Um, promoted to grandma. So this is a mom that's turning into a grandma, right? Simple. Okay. This can be done on anywhere. Like, Merchant Former, Canva, a very simple design, okay? This is not a hard design to create. Very easy, but it's making sales, okay? So that's all that matters at the end of the day. You can create the most simplest designs and they'll make sales, but you have to understand who you're targeting, who's gonna buy this, okay? Which is so important. Okay, let's just check out this BSR. It's, it's cranking, it's selling, it's making sales. It's a consistent seller. This is what you want. Okay. Very simple. Also too, the merchant former uh, trademark check. Um, it's a Chrome extension. This is really cool. If you want to be checking for trademarks for whatever product that you're designing for, check this click a little click of a button and it'll check. Obviously this is not trademark. So we're good. All right. Next one promoted to mommy. Okay. Now, like I said, again, think about who you're targeting. Okay. Um, this is a, another simple design. Okay. Real, real simple design. Nothing too crazy has the baby's little, you know, f foot imprints right here. Okay. Um, yeah, real easy, simple. Um, soon to be grandpa 22, two, this is a real popular design that was going around on social media and it was going crazy. You know, you got the big fist and you got the little fist and they're giving each other a dab, which is really cool. Um, and there's different ways that you can obviously phrase this. So think about, you know, how other ways that you can approach this niche, right? And this is important as I'm creating these type of videos for you to understand that, right? Um, you know, they got a little picture right there, a um, little background, faded, little faded text on here, right? Um, yeah, men's funny, soon to be grandpa, 2022 retro new grandpa shirt, grandpa t-shirt. So you can see the different types of keywords that they have in here, right? Right. So, which is interesting because it's powerful if you understand how to do your keyword research and put them together in your listing because you'll create more sales. Now, what's going on in this niche? There's a lot of top sellers in this niche already, and you can see that the sales rate, the sales ranks are just cranking the BSRs, right? There's a lot of good stuff in here, but think about like the sub niches. Okay. You can, there's cousins, there's great grandma, great grandpa. Um, think about those type of niches because all these niches are doing really well. And there's a lot of like family designs that are doing good. So think about outside the box and what you can do to provide, you know, a design to someone for someone that they really, really want. Now with competition, it's like medium, right? It's like a medium it's, it's there, but if you can target like something that is a sub sub niche right and in which it would be like great grandpa great grandma right you can make or it creates an opportunity for you to make more sales 
because you're creating less competition for yourself right now if you go into something more general like grandma or grandpa or mommy or daddy of course there's going to be more competition right it only makes sense now with targeting you're targeting all age groups okay so think about it this, this is a very awesome niche to make money in but you're targeting all age groups when it comes to this at the end of the day so think about think outside the box and what you can do in here the next niche is going to be the video game niche now how to design for this niche you want to be very careful with using any logos okay as i explained you want you don't want to use the ps4 controller you don't want to use the xbox controller you don't want to use the uh, original uh, nintendo controller unless you have the rights okay if you have the rights you can do it but if you don't don't do it because you can get suspended on any of these platforms by doing that right and you don't want that to happen to you at all you do not want that to happen to you as far as simple text based with the graphic they do really well in this niche um designing for you know brothers uh designing for sisters and as more like female gamers are coming on to into this niche it's really awesome so it kind of opens up a little bit more and it gives you more room to you know be creative right which is really cool cool and it creates a better opportunity for you to make sales and what's going on in this niche so this niche is a very very big niche it's a very it's 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 growing and getting bigger okay as i said there's more female video game players and which is really cool and you see like on something recently that i seen on tiktok i seen a grandma playing video games i thought that was really amazing i was like dude this is cool she's playing she's uh she's saying some cuss words and stuff like that and having a good time and I was like, dude, this is what this niche needs, right? And I think it's really awesome to see, you know, like older women enjoying playing video games and showing these youngsters how it's done, right? So think about that, right? It's, it's She's inspiring other people, older people to play video games. Um, a day without video games is like, just kidding, I have no idea. Uh, that retro st uh, style right is you know it's it's always good for pretty much any niche um which is crazy so one of the things that i see in these niches is you gotta be very careful with these controllers you do not want to be using an xbox controller you don't want to be using a regular nintendo controller or a ps4 controller you got to be very careful okay because uh, in a way oh, well, it's infringing when you're using their controller without their consent and stuff like that the, the, even just the the graphic of it the layout of it with the you know if it looks almost identical to it you just have to be very careful because you can get in trouble right and if you don't have the rights to it um yeah there's probably some designs up here that have been on here for a year like a year or two years but it's still like me personally like i wouldn't do anything like that to risk my account um that's just me okay um everyone may di be different you may be making a ton of money doing that okay uh, but you just you know you already know that you wouldn't put it a design well you know what was going to happen you're risking you're, you're risking it you, you see it I, if you see the design and it looks like the ps4 controller or the xbox controller you're you're taking that risk and you know that okay so uh when i'm thinking about this niche okay i'm thinking video games of course um uh this right here is kind of, has that that retro sunset you know the retro style design really cool design right um i have two titles brother and gamer and i crush them both right uh this right here when I look at this this looks like a ps4 controller to me okay so i wouldn't actually use that um that's just me um very big on the shirt the design you can see what they're doing here um and they have you know brother and red gamer and red too as well um very simple design that you can obviously you can create anyone can create this um yeah one of the most important things too is making sure that you have the design when you put it on the shirt you see how it is pretty much no space on this so it looks good when a customer is on their cell phone on amazon going up and down okay when they go up and down if they can see it from that you know that small thumbnail and they can read the shirt design and it's funny it makes them stop they're gonna click and you know most likely they're gonna maybe add it to cart or purchase Usually that's what kind of like what I think about when I'm creating a design. I want to make sure it takes up the whole design space on the shirt. All right. Certified gamer forever. That's the Xbox controller. Okay. That's uh, that's up to you if you want to do that, but I wouldn't do it. I mean, personally, just it's a big no-no. Okay. Um, these designs are, they're pretty cool, but obviously with uh, some of them, you just got to, you got to be careful because you're risking a lot right there. Um, but yeah, 
so those are some of the designs that are doing pretty good in the niche just you just want to be careful okay i wouldn't recommend you use the controller for xbox playstation or a regular nintendo or any of these uh cons like the, if you don't have the rights to it right from any of these uh these gaming consoles these 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 businesses don't use them microsoft you know sony right don't don't use them now the competition is very high in this niche okay but you have to think about how you're going to design for this and who you're designing for if you understand your audience and who you're designing for and what they want okay that's one way to approach this to actually you know get your slice of the pie because if there's a lot of competition right it, it makes it harder for you to make sales but once you make sales and you start pumping in those sales that means you're going to start to get that sales velocity with that one product Okay, which is very powerful if it's done correctly. Okay, so think about how you can just dive into this niche and staying ahead. If you know this niche, okay, you know all the new sayings that come out before everyone else. And if you do this correctly, you're gonna make a ton of money. Okay, putting something out before even anyone else has it on a shirt is very powerful because some of these funny sayings that are being said every single day when you're playing a video game, let's say like online, for example, someone wants that on a shirt and you don't even know it. But until you put it up there, it can every anything can be anything's possible in this niche if it's done correctly. All right, now who are you targeting? You're targeting teens, right? Um, think about you know when, when I was a teen, I, I I still play video games to this day. But when I was a teen, like I would that was all I wanted to do. I did not I didn't like school. I didn't like it. I wanted to play video games. But then it was like okay, in order for you to play video games, you have to go to school and you have to do this and do that in order for you to play video games. So I had to go to school and do all this and <laughs> you know what I mean. So uh, you're targeting teams but as the niche starts to grow you know you're gonna pretty soon you'll be start targeting grandmas grandpas and and and, and 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 men and stuff like a lot of men like i know a lot of uh i have a lot of buddies that play you know call of duty um and they're in they're anywhere from their their 20s to their 40s right and uh they enjoy playing call of duty so the, this niche is just opening wide up like wide open okay and it's becoming from kids all the way up to you know grandma grandpa from 60 70 okay um and this is really cool because this is a really awesome niche so think about who you're targeting okay if you're going to be targeting just kids you're going to be making silly funny kid kid designs right and which is really cool think about birthdays and stuff like that they're really popular in this niche too so yeah that's who you'd be targeting with this niche now what's going on in this niche there is some really amazing bsrs that are just they're doing really well okay the bsrs in this niche are just very consistent Okay, there, you know, if you get a good ranking shirt in this niche, you're going to be making sales either every other day or every day. Okay, if you get a good funny saying that's ranks on that front page. So and then especially like during the bowling season, it's just going to even spike up even more, which is really awesome. Now, the competition in this niche, it's like a, I want to say medium, right? It's not too high competition. It's not too low, but there's a there's a demand for it. So. If you figure out a way to create a funny saying, you can make sales in this niche if you do it correctly. Now, the target target audience that you're going to be targeting with bowling, okay, it depends who the design is for, right? It can you can see little kids that'll be wearing um, bowling shirts, okay, and then you'll see because obviously the dad loves bowling, right? Or the mom loves bowling. They are going to if they have kids, you know, think about matching shirts and stuff like that. That would be really nice. But so, you know, some of these funny sayings that I talked about in this video, obviously a little kid is not going to wear that design. I don't know. I don't know. Some, well, some, 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 uh, some people don't care when it comes to the funny sayings and they throw it on their sh the kids, right? Um, but stuff like this, the funny sayings, they they just work really well. Okay, so what I'm thinking, I'm thinking all age groups because everyone likes to go bowling everyone likes to have fun when they go bowling they go out it's a family event right but if you want to get like a, like more serious i think targeting men would be the kind of like the right approach when it comes to this because i see when i watch competition stuff like that i see a lot of men bowling on tv stuff like that now with that being said when it comes to niche research okay double checking for trademarks and stuff like that just because i shared this video with you doesn't mean that you do not check double check for the you know the niche making sure you're doing it correctly uh checking for trademarks copyright all that fun stuff making sure that you're not infringing on someone else's brand basically okay um all these ideas and stuff funny sayings you can search on google you can find a ton of them you can find probably over a thousand different funny sayings 
for one niche, right? So there's a lot of work that you can do in here and making sure that you're double checking your research is one of the most important things when it comes to this, okay? If you got a lot of value out of this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna learn more about niche research, watch this video next right here. And if you haven't got my Merch by Amazon course and you wanna take your business to the next level, it'll be down below in the description.